Hi, welcome back to Vintage Show and Tell. Today I'm going to show you some adorable Christmas items, probably from the 50s and 60s and 70s that I found at the Ferguson Family Estate Sale. So many good things, so many sweet things. I hope you enjoy and stay tuned. So first we have this adorable Santa completely covered, it's a print, it's not wrapped, is it? Completely covered box I found in the basement. There were actually Easter, you know, real eggshells in there. And here in an egg carton that someone had made into diorama eggs. I didn't purchase those. I filled this with some ornaments I found. This is a felt Santa face. And then I was wondering what was this for? Maybe it was a treat holder? Or hold a, held a coin? I'm not sure. And this little guy made of felt circles with little beads in between. I don't know if you can see those. I can reach better. It's a crocheted Santa face. I have two of these. Um, I think they were meant to be pins. One has the pin in it. That one did not. Not everything I got is handmade, but a lot of it is. There's this beautiful glass. Shiny bright. I have never seen one with so many thin stripes painted. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. little plush guy, little bear, next one is one of the sequin and pin ones, it's a little mouse, little whiskers, it's so cute, ooh, I found something I want to show you, I'm excited about, but I found a second one. I'm gonna wait till I find the second one. Okay. This cute little diorama handcrafted piece. And then somewhere else in the house I found this version. Little Santa and Mrs. Claus inside. So cute. Found this beautiful red flocked bird. It's coming, it's coming. Glitter on the back. Look at the eyes. I like them. They're very nicely done. It says made in Japan. I've always wanted this one of these style ones. I have different styles and newer ones. So I'm excited about that one. Okay, this is so adorable. Okay, how can I show you? Incoming. I know it's showing a little lopsided. It's a little handmade carousel. Look how precious. Focus so we can enjoy precious. Oh, so cute. Ah, oh, adorable. And this one is a little bird feeder. It's coming down from the top. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. So cute. Let's straighten it up here. It's so adorable. I can't wait to show you because I'm curious and I have a question about this. This little guy. This little snowman ornament. Extremely tiny. Only about that size of my finger. I think it was meant to be a bell or something, but does this mean Holt Howard? I mean, I don't know, but I kind of get the feeling. So, hmm, let me know. And somewhere in this hall, I have another one. I think it's a different style. So, I'm very curious. Okay, I'm switching off to ceramic things I found for a moment here. I found these three tumbling bears. Aren't 
they so cute? They're super glossy, super shiny and smooth. On the bottom they say, made in Japan. There's three of those little cuties. These are currently listed on eBay. If you're watching this in the first and second week of September, probably longer. Um, 2021. <laughs> okay, and then I found these adorable candle hogger mice. OMG. Look at how adorable. And I looked them up and they are Napco. And they're ext in extremely good condition. The bottoms look may maybe they were. Maybe this one was sitting down in a foam arrangement or something because it has like some glue on the bottom. But besides that, they are beautiful. I'm going to put one down so I don't drop it. Excellent, excellent condition and so adorable. I love those mice. And these two guys were a major find for me, but no one else had found them yet. Amazing. They were in a little box that was labeled something different. Look in the little boxes when you're at estate sales. This little elf made in Japan. Like sugared finish, mercury glass beads. Paper bottom, don't break this cutie. Here is the second elf or gnome. This is currently also listed on eBay. Sorry, it's kind of overcast. Can't believe I found these, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna pack them away real quick. Oops, sorry for the shake. Okay, now that I've gently, excuse me, I've gently put away those fragile things, here is an extremely kitschy, ridiculous thing that is not Christmas, but why did I buy this? I don't know. Look at this pipe cleaner craft guy. It is, come on, who is it? It's from a movie. It is E.T. Here's his phone, E.T. phone home, and look at his little glowing finger thing. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, he's like so weird. Look at his googly eyes and his nostril puff balls. Oh my Lanta. Okay, this is listed on eBay too. And I don't know if anyone would want that. I don't know, man. It's like one of those things that it's like, I don't know, it's so weird. You just want to, I don't know, you want to show people. Okay, and here's, this is an awesome find, look at this, the glass bead eyes, I think that's the only defect right there, the smudge, tag says, flame proof, made in Japan, when my husband read that, he was like, flame proof, really, he didn't believe it, I'm not sure if I do either, here's his little Santa, um, he maybe it was an ornament. I see a hole in the top of his head. Let me lay out some of the other ornaments so you can look at them. Next three in the front are something else. Look at this. I'm guessing it's a dog. Should I bend the ear up? Looks kind of like a koala. Got a little jacket on made of felt. Styrofoam balls. Oh my goodness. Had to get that one. This is a plastic hollow ornament. Japan. Very cute. A silly dog plastic as well. Flocked green part. So silly. Looks like a Snoopy. And we have this little snow woman. Look at her. So cute. She's kind of big. Like, for size reference. Is that like five inches. So cute. Okay, so I was watching a channel called The Cult of Vintage with Michael Todd. Love, love, love his channel. He said his viewers were telling him to keep an eye out for these patchwork animals, salt and pepper shakers. And I found these at that estate sale for an amazing price. They are two dogs. They are missing their stoppers. The label says, Napco Originals by Giftcraft. 
so I had to pick these up. They're beautiful. And there's no parts broken off. They have crazing to the finish, but they are awesome. Ooh, sorry. And this is the last thing I promise I'm gonna say is listed on eBay. The rest of the stuff isn't, and so I'll stop mentioning that. But, oh my god. They're so, I don't know. It's like they're odd. Oh, a word I came up with today. Fun usual. They're fun usual. Before I move on to the rest of the items, the second one of these is in a different lot that I'll be doing in another video. So sadly I can't show you today, but please let me know in the comments below if you know who this is made by. I'm going to move on, get all these things out of the way, and here comes the next stuff before we round it up. So look at this. It says Revolving Christmas Card Tree by Davis. In the box, it's made of plastic. They tell you how to make it. The star is hidden under here, and here is the base. I'm going to quickly put it together for you. So here it is. It does rotate a little bit, um, or not. That's revolving, so apparently that's not happening anymore. This was hard to get on. I don't want to push it on too far. But you would stick all the cards in the slots. So I think I'm going to keep this for a season before I decide if I want to sell it. So here's some more treasures. I'm down to the last seven things to show you. We're almost done. Okay, uh, this is just one of those containers to put things in. Not that old, but uh, handy and cute festive, a, f um, a felt handcrafted stocking with reindeer. I think it's funny how it has the hook on this side and it said Joan. I was trying to pull the letters off. Thank you Joan for letting us use your stocking <laughs> wherever you are. And here is this. This is a Noma electric plug-in light up church. Does need some cleaning. It's adorable. Came in its box, which is heavily messed up and taped. It says advertised in life, illuminated plastic church. Isn't that so awesome? The box. I'm sorry, it's kind of dark. So I'll be keeping the box with it. The last few things really quick. This Christmas kaleidoscope. It says Yuletide Enterprises 1977. Made in Hong Kong. You can see little beads in there. Sometimes I find these and I wonder if anyone cares. Things that open to make a foil decoration. This one looks like le a leaf that turns into a snowflake. Will anyone use these? I think they're cool. And last but not least, some handmade Easter. Look at it. Isn't that so funny? A little duck. You're supposed to hold an egg or a treat. And a little bunny pin fluffy tail. Thank you so much for watching. I have more stuff from this Jefferson family estate sale coming up soon in another video. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I love reading your comments. If you don't have time to do any of those things, it's all good. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. You still watching? Okay. Ta-da! Yeah, I know. Big deal. Okay, I really been wanting TV trays like this. The metal ones. And I found these at the Ferguson Family Sale. Two of them. One has wheels. Very good condition. Much better for me and our use than the heavy wood ones they make nowadays. Large, perfect, I'm so happy, great price. And I'll give you a little view of our park since you stuck around.